Hey guys, I went out to a barbecue. It was a really good barbecue. I came back and there was five more secret layers. Let me just rewind and tell you what products we've recently got. We got Ikoria, Ikoria Collector's Edition. We had the Mystery Booster Boxes with 2,000 reprints. We're getting Core Set. We had any number of secret layers that have not been shipped out or are being reprinted. We got, we're going to get Jumpstart, which is another set of all reprints. We got Commander 2020. Core set is, I don't even know how excited I can be about that. And oh, by the way, we have Double Masters coming up early August. Uh, there's something wrong. And I understand that not every product is for everybody, but my gosh, there's a lot of product. There's just so much of it. It's like an, an insane level of product during the pandemic where people don't really have money. And I like the concept of the secret layers. I've always supported this, but right now it's probably not a good time you need to save your money for Double Masters, which Double Masters is quite fascinating. Rudy says that it is not expensive enough at $300 a box. Tolarian Community College says it's too expensive. So there is a divergence between the investor Rudy and the player, the casual player, Tolarian Community College. A lot of this stuff looks kind of like garbage. Uh... This is Ed Hardy. I mean, this is like JCPenney type of uh, artwork. It's not for me. I do like Eternal Witness. I do like Ink Moth Nexus. Obviously, that's the pricey card out of the five. And I do understand that, you know, the drop thing, League of Legends, uh, 100 Thieves does it for clothing lines, and they make a bunch of money. Supreme does it. So I understand the drop mechanic and why you want people to have FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. But this is just too much, guys. It's too much product. Um, it's just too much money. The Secret Lair Ultimate Edition just came out. People still haven't received all of the Secret Lairs they ordered. At, at some point in time, this is not going to be sustainable. You cannot keep milking the players over and over again. It reminds me of EA Sports. And EA Sports has a terrible business model. Very predatory. I think this is very predatory too. Miss a drop, it's gone. Hmm. That is, uh... Hmm, that's weird. So you have Arcbound Ravenger. You have Dark Steel Colossus and Walking Ballista. I am actually not really inclined so it used to be when you bought all five of them you got some type of discount now they just give you a fetch land <laughs> which cost them again probably five cents to print so like what the blank is going on here why do we have so much product the large majority of it reprints so the core 2021 will probably have reprints in it and it's a core set right so i'll have some new cards but then i'll have some reprints Commander 2020 obviously has its share of reprints. Mystery Boosters was 2,000 reprints. So that was pretty interesting. Jumpstart is 600 reprints. I guess for beginners, maybe. And then we have Secret Layers, which is 100% reprints all the time. And we have the map, the Collector's Edition. Like what happened was very predatory. So they hit you up with the collector's edition, right? Ikoria. And they made it hyped. And honestly, Ikoria has almost no value in it right now. If you bought a standard box for $80, $90, you could pull about $47, $45 retail. If you went to go buy list it to Card Kingdom, out of the cards that they would take, you would make about $10. So buying a $100 product to get the $10 back does not feel good. Here we have the Path Not Traveled, which is uh, Planeswalkers. You got uh, Johnny, Domri, Vraska, and Tamio. Uh, again, their artwork is not for me. 
Like, I would love to see the anime artwork in the War of the Sparks again. But I don't know why they don't do that. This is very weird. This whole thing, the whole time thing is very, very strange. And how they are revealing it, like, you got some cosplayers, you got some, like, random dudes. Doesn't really, like, hype me up for this set. And four Planeswalkers generally is pretty good i don't really understand what they're doing it, it sounds so i play a lot of gacha games and many gacha games go belly under this is just the life cycle of a gacha game the average so a gacha game is a mobile game where you pay money for a random chance to get a character um it's you know there's I play a bunch of gacha games and some of the really bad gacha games like um attack on titan just closed or they're announcing that it's over it feels the same it feels like they're releasing a lot of in the gacha game summoning banners where you would spend your money or your earned you know uh, currency to pull on those banners and typically when games go belly under they start releasing banners like instead of once a month they will release it like once a week and then it'll be like once every two days to kind of make a last gasp ep effort to make money. It's fascinating. Today is the day that they banned the number one Magic the Gathering player. And they also released five secret layers. And you can tell who is a corporate dummy. Because the way that they address it. Hey guys, look at this. These lightning bolts. I, I don't. I don't understand why we need more lightning bolts. I guess we had Seren Visions and that kind of mountain go. Miss a drop, it's gone. They must think that we're idiots. We all, I mean, if, doesn't everyone know that Double Masters is coming out and we need to save our money for Double Masters because Double Masters is the end all be all. I mean, it's literally Ultimate Masters times two for the same price. Like, how can I explain it easier than that? But then, like, what will happen after Double Masters? Will we get Triple Masters? Quadruple Masters? Probably. I mean, it really resembles a dying mobile game to me. And the whole way that this, uh, these five birds got released was, like, somebody found them in the forest. I'm like, whoa. This is very lame. Like, I don't really understand. So you found these cards in a forest, and we're idiots, and we think this happened? Because why? So obviously, you got the goose and you got the birds of paradise, which are really nice. I think those are the two things that I would want for my ED8 deck. The birds of paradise is really nice. I have a better version of it, though. I have the Aphrodisian buy a box promo. Was it Aphrodisian? I think it was. It was the buy a box promo. And that one in foil, because I think it only comes in foil, is gorgeous. Now, you might ask, okay, what if I give Wizard Coast even more money? Okay, let's say I buy one of each. What do I get? Do I get some type of discount for making a bulk purchase? Or, you know, it used to be when you bought five of them, you would get a substantial discount, making it worth buying five, even if you were, didn't want the lightning bolts, or in many cases, the serum visions is the one that people didn't want because, I mean, yikes. So we, oh, I forgot. We had Godzilla basic lands. <laughs> I was I was like, wait a second. Didn't we have like a secret layer that was Godzilla themed? And it was basic lands. Okay, so now let's focus on the summer super drop bundle. Whenever you have super and bundle together, it's probably not a good deal. I play lots of gotcha. I'm going to tell you straight up. So you buy all five of these. And then you get one of these fetch land. Obviously, the fetch land that you want is the Misty Rainforest or the Tarn. You want a blue one. Arid Mesa would be pretty bad. So, huh. Now, is it worth buying all five of these just to grab one of these fetch lands? I don't think so, but maybe. This just reminds me of a dying mobile game. So many of their business tactics recently just remind me whenever they have to double the rates, like double masters, of course, and then they start running out of adjectives. 
I mean, we have Mythic Edition, Collector's Edition, we have Double, <laughs> just that's terrible to use the word Double, Super Drop. I mean, we literally are running out of adjectives to describe Secret Lair Ultimate Edition with a collector's box. Ugh.